Afternoon, everyone, and I almost spilled the Sri Russia. Anyway, welcome to one of my maybe first food video, food making, food preparing, food hacks, some small hints on how to make some popular food a little bit more tasty and maybe a little bit more convoluted, like we can say. And we will start with the most basic of them all: the noodle, and in our case, the endomi noodle. I really like this endomi. I prefer the vegetable which we ran out. And just a small thing, use these kind of noodles. There are uh, those migoreng or something that are fried noodles. For this particular uh, recipe, we require this because we want our noodles to be a bit soggy, not dry. The fried noodle is a bit dry. It might not work, it might work, but we will see. We'll also need a slice of American cheese, some hot sauce, uh, you don't really need some chopsticks, but just for authenticity. And a small bowl, we also need to cook the noodles. So I won't go through the process of cooking the noodle, because that will be quite stupid. So anyway, let me cook the noodle, and I will be back momentarily. So while we're cooking the noodle, I also need to keep in mind, we need these. They're not really necessary, but I think they do add or enhance the flavor. Uh, you get two things. There's the bumbu sauce that is like the soup base and you also get uh, the chili, the chili flakes. Both are good. They really add some flavor. So keep them, especially the chili flake. This is optional. You don't have to do it if you just like the taste of the noodles because you'll uh, already use some sauce. Maybe use the sriracha or some hot sauce, but I prefer sriracha with the noodle. It's much more uh, convenient and has a better taste. Anyway, the noodles are cooking and we'll come back and I'll show you a small tip on how to deal with the noodles inside the bowl. So we'll be back momentarily. See you. And here we have our noodles. I like to say one thing. I like to keep my noodles a bit al dente so they're not fully cooked because you know when you put them in the bowl they will still cook inside the water. Don't drain the water. That's the main idea and I'll tell you why. We get the bowl. Okay, so it's a bit tricky since I'm doing it by the viewfinder, but you do like this and you just try to throw in the noodles like this while they're still in the water and try as much as you can not to spill much like I just did. And notice one thing, I already have some noodles here. We'll try just, there's just this one noodle. I will use my hand, hope you don't get upset about it. Oh, that's a long noodle. So now we have some noodles here. What we'll do is we'll get... Uh, let's get the sauce uh, packages out of the way first. That will be easier. Best thing to do is just to cut them with scissors and throw them here. That will be amazing. We do the same thing with the other one, like that. Here we have the chili. Now that's great. That's really great. So far, so good. Now the small trick. We get the cheese. Yeah, any kind of American cheese. This is a spicy one. Doesn't matter if it breaks straight out from the fridge. No problem. Just put it here. That's a nice size. Now here is why I'm doing this. So we can get the rest of our noodles with some water that falls from them. The little water will add some sogginess and so add some much added heat. So just try as much to do. Now cover it like this. See? Make sure the cheese is not visible and put it like this. And now we wait until our uh, cheese melts. It will take a few minutes. So see you in a small while. So now that we left it for a few minutes, not too much, I think it's, ah, it's reasonably hot. So we use the chopstick here just to move around our good old noodles inside the canister. Just keep doing it like this. It will take a little while. You know what? I think it's much easier if I just break the noodles like this. Uh, the noodles, <laughs> I mean the chopsticks. Just keep stirring it around, okay? And you will notice each time you stir it more and more, you will see the cheese is actually incredibly melting. And if you see some cheese on the side, just take a sizable 
chunk of noodle and just caress them like this and just keep moving them. I can easily see how creamy this noodle is getting. Ah, that's quite, quite, quite enjoyable. And if you look down, you will see the little water has some cheese in it. This is the most beautiful cheese sauce ever. This is why we did what we did. We did not drain the water because if you drain the water, your uh, noodles will be quite dry and they will not help melt the cheese and not make it creamy. It might melt the cheese because there is heat in the noodles, but if the noodles are not wet, you will not get the creamy effect. Now, let's if you can honestly see, let's see if we can see, this is one heck of a creamy noodle. So instead of getting just wet noodles like we always do or get the uh, migorang that is fried noodles and very dry, this one is incredibly creamy noodles. Of course, you can add whatever you want on it. Uh, some people do like herbs on them, but me, I just take the sriracha, shake it a bit, open it and like this we put some hot sauce on it and here you go everyone the Lebanese unboxers creamy cheese noodle and I failed to mention that cheese was also spicy and if you want you can actually just do it like this let the heat dissipates inside them uh, some people just like to eat it with the sriracha on top but you will only get a few bites with the sriracha flavor. And I tell you, sriracha flavor is incredible with the noodles. So, what you do is just do the same. You will notice the color turned a bit bright red and you can smell it. That's the best thing about the sriracha. The smell. Anyway, here is our noodle. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And are you going to try this and give me your honest opinion? Uh, are you satisfied with this? Do you think it's weird or not tasty or anything? Anyway, I look forward to your uh, uh, feedback on it. And even if you're not going to try it, just tell me, is this a nice thing, a bad thing? Did you ever try American cheese? Maybe add an egg in it or something? Because noodles goes well with everything. Anyway, how about we do a little taste test? Anyway, guys, here's the noodles I made. It's a nice small bowl anyway. So let's try it and I'll give you my honest opinion about it, about how tasty it is. We'll just take one of them. Mmm. 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 Lip smacking good and also lip smacking hot. It's incredibly spicy. The spicy cheese, already the uh, the chili flakes inside and also the sriracha makes it superbly, superbly uh, hot. Anyway, you can see the melted cheese and the creaminess on that. Mm. On the chopsticks. Man, this is quite tasty. Incredibly good. Incredibly creamy. And it's actually filling. You can get filled up by this more than a regular uh, noodle that you do just with water. Mm. Mm. Amazing, amazing. This is the way you make some good noodles for cheap and do not take too much time. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you can give uh, me a like, drop a comment, good or bad. We can ridicule e even me, I don't really care. Just want your interaction. And thank you for your time. And I hope I can make more of this food video. And please tell me, would you like me to make one food, some more food videos? Would you like me to stuck to my uh, regular scheduled program? Anyway, this was the Lebanese Unboxer, and I see you in another video. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. Change the world! My pride, old bastard!